this is Peter Popoff. Please don't hang up. I need just a little bit of information in order to rush you the miracle spring water that I offered on TV. Begin by telling me your first name. Kent. K-E-N-T. Now please tell me your last name. And please spell it. Hovind. H-O-V-I-N-D. Uh, recently, I've been having some conversations with my film Free. Oh yeah, I'm in the big leagues now. Uh, Hold on, wait a minute. You mean to tell me the best that you can do with all the time that you have on your hands is go around wasting people's times prank calling them? Hello, President Barack Obama? Hi, I would like to waste a few minutes of your time. Hello? You mean the best that you can find to do is to pose as other Christians? Excuse me, young man. Can I pray for you and tell you about the name of Jesus? Wait a minute. You ain't no Christian. You an atheist. Not only that, you're ordering from a group posing as Christians making money off the backs of other Christians when God never sold salvation. Brothers and sisters, sinners, God has a calling on your life. God wants to save you. God wants to love you. What do you have to do to receive God's love? What do you have to do to receive God's blessing? You gotta say yes. You gotta say yes. You gotta say yes to buying my laundry cart for $500. You mean to tell me that you have nothing better to do but to antagonize Nephilim Free, who is a grown man, into a childish debate with you, else he loses. You know what? You wanna get in on this? Yeah, tag me in, dog. What Crazy316 is trying to say, Q-Dragon, is you are evil. I'm sorry. I have no other way to put it. Anybody who spends so much time tearing down Christians, there's only one word for them. Evil. And you know what? Do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? I almost want to think twice before I ever feel sorry for another disabled person again. And I said almost only because I understand that... Most disabled people don't take advantage of their of other people's sympathy to antagonize people and play childish games. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and principalities of darkness in high places. I understand this. That's why I don't hate you, kid. Uh, sure, I don't really like you. We'll probably never be best friends, but I don't hate you. Why? Because I understand that. I understand what you're doing is just a cry for attention. Sure, maybe people look at you and laugh at you. Maybe little kids point and stare and that makes you feel awkward. That is a terrible position to be in. I would not like to be in your shoes right now and I thank God that I'm not. But if I was in your shoes, I would not act like you were acting right now. You are taking advantage of people's sympathy. You are wasting people's time. You are being a worker of iniquity. Now, I don't care if you're 10 feet tall and as athletic as Shaq or if you're in the condition that you are in now, you are nobody and you have no right to do that to God's people. You have no right to campaign against the creator who created you just the way that you are. Now, you want to be mad at him about that? Take that up with God. Pray. Talk to God. I know you don't believe in him, but he's there. You've tried every other doctor. They can't heal your situation. God is all that is left. Why are you persecuting the only person left that can help you? Maybe you don't want help. That's okay. Maybe you don't want to be cured. Maybe you don't want to be saved. Maybe all you want is attention. And that is why you were doing this. Thunderfoot, wow, the guy's got 56,000 subscribers. You have a new best friend. He's going to make you Mr. Popular on YouTube. Is that what you want? I really hope that's not all you're after. Because I have seen greater men in worse conditions than you do great big things with their lives. Check out No Limbs, No Limits. Awesome.
My name is Nick Vujicic and uh, I'm from Australia and uh, this morning I want to share with you my testimony as to how God has given me grace, strength and comfort through my disability and how you can have victory, peace and joy in your life even if circumstances are still present in your life that don't make sense or cause your world to turn upside down. that don't work no arms no legs not legs that don't work no legs he does everything with God's power his testimony is awesome as you could have just seen for yourself he chooses to be a light to people he chooses to encourage people you only want to tear people down and I look at it this way you're stuck wherever you are with your disabilities and your life is probably not the best life. I'm not going to say it is or isn't because I'm not you and I don't know how satisfied you are. But if life isn't as grand as you want it to be, why would you live a life like that just to suffer for eternity? Why don't you suffer with the disabilities you have now? Why don't you suffer with your hangups and shortcomings that you have now and enjoy the benefits and the rewards that God has for you in heaven later? People like you show us that being an atheist is not only about not believing in a God, but it's also an excuse to be a jerk. There are atheists out there that are not only not a jerk, but they are very mature in what they do. If you don't want to be a Christian and don't have any intentions on becoming one, whatever, at least have the decency and the morals and, and the maturity that atheists should display. But hey, if you want to grow up and, and remain ignorant like Sarah Han, pulling prank calls at the age of 40 or whatever it is, I can understand. That just seems to be the atheist mindset. You never find nobody like my kind. 